Hey everyone, Nair Man here. Um, yeah, sorry for not getting any real videos up. I've been heavily working on um, my new commentary channel, uh, Brain Scratch Comms. Um, as soon as we get the first commentary is actually up, I'll link you to it, or you can just search the name. But for all those wondering why I haven't really haven't had anything up, it's mostly because of that and the end of the school year. So to make it up to you, I'm going to try and do a little video right now. Well, uh, I think I'm, I'm alone in the house because I think my sisters are at school at the moment. Um, anywho, something to talk about. Yep, gonna go through all the needlessly large amounts of Pokemon and just talk about them. Uh, just, basically this is just gonna go through, state my opinions, and generate discussion. Mostly because I really have nothing really to talk about at the moment. It's a dry season in games, and well, there isn't really anything to talk about, so... Let's begin, and I'm sorry if this comes out really badly. It's I'm kind of staring at the camera feedback while I'm doing this. So, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, we're going to kind of do it like this. I'm going to hold up the fucking huge-ass guide I got for five bucks because I had a coupon and a deal at Best Buy, so fuck yeah, five bucks for this huge-ass thing. Basically, I'm just going to hold it like this and while I talk about it. Um, basically... Obviously, I was around when Pokemon first came out, so I'm obviously more familiar with the older generations. I, the farther we get, the harder it's going to be for me to know what the hell's going on. Also, basically, I'm looking through it on feedback. I can't really see what's on the page right now, so this is going to be kind of awkward. But I guess we better just jump right in with the first gen. Hooray, the first three starters. Um, uh, here, here we go. This guy owns... Own edge right here. Obviously, I think the first generation is the best of all four. I don't even see why we have four to begin with. Uh, basically, I actually do like these guys. Pretty much. Even though Squirtle is essentially just a turtle, but whatever. So we'll just start on the first page. Well, these three are pretty cool. I do like them, at both from visual design, and they're actually pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, I do hate these dual-type things right here. I never liked that idea, but I do like the ones that are entirely hypocritical, or ones that really just don't make any sense whatsoever. And I'll talk to those when we eventually get to them. Um, I remember the first game in the red version, I obviously picked Charmander, just because Charizard owns so much. Even though I believe of all the gyms, I believe Bulbasaur was the best to choose. But that's just trying what I'm trying to remember. Actually, wait, I'm starting too far ahead. I should start at Pokemon Zero, which is missing now. <laughs> no, let's not. I think everyone knows that glitch at this point. Move on to the next page, I guess. It's Caterpie. Ugh. Fucking worthless. The only thing it ever really got any attention was because it was in the show. Oops, sorry about that. It's basically mirror mode right now. Although, the only fun thing to do with Menopod... Name your Metapot, or Caterpie, however you catch them, name them Penis. And then go and, you know, use Harden. Penis use Harden. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot in these games where you input your own names for shit. Every time I get a Pokemon game, I, well, I always name my rival something like Bastard or Dumb Shit or something like that. But every time I get a, a Pokemon game for the first time, I always name myself something like Fucker and my rival named Bastard. And just go through the entire opening, you know, cutscene, just going like, Hey, fucker, what are you doing? No, nothing, bastard, what are you doing? And it's basically just fun to see a Nintendo game just, you know, swear like a sailor like that. And there are loads of little things you can do with the Pokemon names and the, you know, the daycare center with names and shit. So, yeah, and that's basically taking up time for Metapod. Um, I don't know why we have essentially two of the same things here. You know, Weedle and... Caterpie. They're both worms, and basically just goes to a butterfly and a bee. Again, whatever. <laughs> then we have, well, we have Pidgey and Pidgeotto and Pidget. Hooray for random, just generic birds. It's kind of sad, because they're well-known, but they're so fucking worthless overall. And now we have Ratata, the most useless Pokemon ever, other than Bidoof. I mean, at least Magikarp is hilariously retarded. Rattata is just fucking worthless. I mean, it's a rat. And Rattata's even more stupid. And it's Spiro and Firo, hooray, more generic birds. And then we have Jesse's 
Nah. Jesse's little, you know, Ekans here. I don't care for poison types. I really don't. Nah. Oh, it's the stupid mascot himself. I am sick of seeing Pikachu every fucking where. Why? Ugh. I actually like Raichu better than I do Pikachu with their pull. Not terribly powerful, although I do remember my first team in red had a Raichu. It was actually pretty good too. The I just that's one of the like the three Pokemon I actually remember from being in my team in my first red version. I miss Sandshrew. He's not in anything. He's not like in any of the games anymore. Why? I actually like ground types, even though they're not terribly useful. Uh, the Nidorans. They're actually the first one to distinguish genders in red and blue, but they were also eh. I don't like your design much either, and again, I hate poison types. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, bleh. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I do not care for normal types, because well, they're not strong against anything. I actually read somewhere that Clefairy was supposed to be the main mascot, but since the show was so popular, Pikachu just kind of became, became the de facto, you know, the de facto uh, mascot. Whatever. And that's pretty much all Clefairy is really known for. And that really annoying episode in the show. And Vulpix and Ninetales. I like these guys. They're okay, even though half the people I know who have a Ninetales have named them Naruto. <laughs> Why? Nine Tails would kick Naruto's ass. <laughs> you need to stop being in Smash Brothers games. You really do. You're not popular anymore. And not to mention, you were just annoying to begin with. Pointless evolution. Using the Moonstone. <sighs> and it's the Pokemon every bad guy has. Zubat. Ugh, they're fucking worthless. As well as Goldbat in their evolution, but we'll talk about him when we get to him. Worthless. Fucking worthless. Oddish, Gloom, and Vile Plume. Do not care for you guys. A lot of the early Pokemon, early, I don't care for. But at least they're not stupid. I mean, at least they make a decent amount of sense. Ugh, Venonat and Venonoth, I don't care for at all. No, it's... Diglett and the Trio. Yeah. They're okay, I guess, even though they don't really make sense. I mean, it, evolu it evolves into, what, three of itself? Yeah. Eh, it's Meowth. The fucking worthless, you know, talking cat from the show that no one liked. Eh, stupid Meowth. And it's a generic cat. Yay. Psyduck and Golduck, ugh, I hate these things, they're so utterly useless. They were just basically blech in the show, let alone in the game. Ugh, come on. Mankey and Primeape, don't care for. Oh, Growlithe and Arcanine, I remember when everyone thought Arcanine was like equivalent to a legendary. I think in terms of stats, you guys, I can't remember, I'm not like a big competitive battling guy. He's like equivalent to, Arcanine's like an equivalent to a legendary or something. And it's Poliwag, the guy who actually created Pokemon said that Poliwag's his favorite. I don't know why, it's not particularly cute. But whatever. And it evolves into a generic little spirally thing, I have no idea. Abracadabra and... This is not turning out well. I like his M. Also known as the only good original psychic types that weren't in legendary. There, I, I still use them because I'm every now and again in my games. Um, 